Hi everybody, Regina from Eat Travel Life and I want to talk to you today about canning stewed tomatoes. Stewed tomatoes are something that I enjoy canning. It's one of the first things that I learned how to do and it's pretty simple. Um, we make them with, with tomatoes, onions, and green peppers. When you're canning tomatoes, you're going to need to blanch them and that just involves having a strainer in the water, um, in hot water that you dunk the the tomatoes down into and then pull them up after um, you see the skin start to to split you know it's time that you can blanch them putting them in cold water um, to stop the cooking process and make them cool enough for you to actually handle and then um, you are able to peel off the skins and core them and uh, start the process of adding in your peppers and onions and actually you can also add in celery if you want to as well and once you've got a full pot then you can actually uh, begin processing them as far as bringing everything up to temp and boil to boil and then putting it in your sterilized uh, jars to then process in the pressure canner now processing everything in the pressure canner um, you're going to want to have sterilized jars, bands, and lids. You'll want to wipe off um, the tops of the jars to ensure that they will seal properly and then hand tighten those jars. You will then uh, place them into a pressure canner and since the ingredients are going to be hot, you are going to want to hot uh, you've hot packed that's what they call that you're going to then want to make sure that your uh, pressure canner has hot water in it as well and you will then put the top on and you'll notice on mine i have an f on the front of mine uh, where it will align on the pressure canner that makes it easier for me to know where things line up the f that f needs to be on the front of my canner so uh it, it lets me know that that's the front and because it's heavy I can actually place that on my stove with the F in front and not have to twist it around and, and move it around it makes life a lot easier for me and then I line that up with the top put the top on and wait for the pressure to hit 10 pounds once it hits 10 pounds then I'll process um, quartz for 20 minutes and pints for 15 minutes allow it to reduce pressure on its own and then remove those and place them on a towel so that any excess water uh, is absorbed and they don't slip around and then they'll let them cool and once they're cooled you can date them and write down on it what it is or if you have labels you can use those too thanks so much for watching be sure to let me know in the comments what you put in your stewed tomatoes. Do you put celery in and onions and green peppers or is there something else you put in yours? And make sure you subscribe to our channel below. Have a great day.